Well, recently, Little Yachty and Joe Buttons kind of got into a little old head, new generation debate, if you will. Um, to me, I think Lil Yachty put Joe Buttons in his place. Give me the judge. Apple County 305. I can tell you now before, before we continue, I'm the biggest fan of self deprecation. <laughs> now that we got that out of the way. Alright, so your album Teenage Emotions coming out soon in May. You dropped the album cover. So we caught up with you at South by Southwest and you said that you're feeling a little bit of pressure with this album because so many eyes are on you right now. Yeah. How are you feeling now? When I came up with that cover. Go back. So you came up with this cover. Yeah, I came up with that cover and uh, nobody from the art department at the label came up with this cover. No, nah, actually. Went to the label and said, I want two gay dudes kissing. I want the white girl with the funny hair. Mm -hmm. that you went to the label and said you want yeah. all of that. Actually, I didn't go to the label. Who I, you call? I, I didn't call the label. <laughs> I didn't, it has nothing to do with the label. We just, we do it and then we give it to the label. Let me ask you a question. Wait, this... I'm not done with my question. Fuck out of here. All right, nigga. <laughs> so explain it to me. Because when I see this, when I see the cover, I'm a bit dated. I know. Well, admittedly, I admit it. I think. That, that's normally what I think. So give me your creative process behind the cover. Who are you trying to reach? Everyone. Tell me what the message is here. The message is just to believe in yourself, to, to love yourself. Basically, it's just showing all signs of life. You know what I'm saying? She has vertigo. She's like a like an emotional girl. You know what I'm saying? We have obesity, and then we have same-sex love. You know what I'm saying. What about your music speaks to any of that? My music is basically to stay positive and just to. Love yourself, you know what I'm saying? I'm the outcast of the hip-hop game, you know what I'm saying? These are all outcasts on this cover. And all I'm basically saying is you can be yourself and still be okay with that. When I look I at I, I look at like someone who just sticks out basically. Someone who's, it doesn't really fit into the pod, into the circle. That's and how you I would I, say that you are an compared, outcast. Compared to, I feel like I'm an outcast compared to people like you. Or like you're, you're, you're from your generation. Well, I'm an outcast. Old heads, man. So you are, okay. you are the outcast. same. You guys are the same, and I feel like the new generation is the outcast, but I feel like I'm the top outcast. Let me tell you something, right? No, that's, that's bullshit, but I understand it. At it's, least for the moment, I feel like okay. I stick out the most. And, and that's not even necessarily Do you good like thing. that, or do you dislike I, that? I, you know what I'm saying? It's not a like or a dislike, it's just something that So you accepted it? I, I, it doesn't matter to me, because it's not stopping me. Now, if it was slowing down my business and it was stopping money and it was making things hard for me then I would I take it like I don't care about the business part I care about, about how Yachty feels I'm telling you how I feel I you're am giving happy me every day wait a minute happy I'm happy every day because life is moving in such a positive way I can't get slowed down so maybe he has been media trained this is a very media trained answer that I'm getting not a media trained right, answer to what how I am Okay, let me tell you about how humans are. Okay, I'm listening. Feelings are fickle. What that means is they come and they go. Nobody is one thing forever. You cannot tell me. You would be the line to tell me that as a young man, how old are you? 19. In this industry, in this music industry, in the music business, mm -hmm. you are happy 24-7. That is a lie. So, that is a that is bullshit, so, and I refuse to have somebody tell me bullshit. I want to have an honest conversation. So when you come He's from when you guy. come from a college dorm room with no money, okay, you scamming credit cards. Which is all college dorm and, and, it's, and you ain't getting no play with no girls. You're not getting. You have no clothes. You have no car, and you come to having three, four cars. You got millions of dollars, half a million dollars on your body just to wear. And any kind of clothes you want, any hoes you want, how could you be upset? Because I don't think that's where your values lie. That's why. That's and that's why. where you have a that, problem. That, that's why. And all of the rappers, and, and I don't want this to come off like old nigga mad shit. It, but it I'm, is. It is. It is. Okay, so let me erase that then. My number one objective with speaking to you is to understand, right? The other day that y'all are in charge of, right? So is that sounding old guy mad still? No, it sounds like it sounds like you know you fucked up and you're trying to bring it back. I ain't fucked up with you. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! You started the conversation. You said first, okay. You said I'm signing Capital, correct? And then you said that it, you, you basically you discredited Capital and for everything that it has in hip hop. Capital's trash. Now you know Migos is signing Capital. Number Good for one, them. No but one Capital didn't group. find Migos, so don't tell they me that. They didn't find though. me. I'm signing QC. It's a. I still came from Atlanta. 
All right? I have my own mindset and how I brand myself and how I make this shit pop because I just know how to do this shit. I don't have no nice corporate white person in my ear like, he always believes that. See, that, that that's I, because I, I, that's niggas' mindsets are on some other shit compared to what I'll be on. I'm not on that type shit. I just know how to make this shit. And it's good. I'm happy that I can make you think in your mind that I got somebody behind me. That let me know I'm doing the right shit the right way. Yeah, that's the biggest fucking bullshit I've ever heard. But that's fine. That's okay. Let's clear up that ego interview. And I'll speak for all the old, bitter people. I think that's the one that got people to view you yep. in the light the life that they do. Yeah. So when I was shitting on you, because I don't take back nothing I said, I think that, and this is my opinion, and I would like to ask you in a minute what you want from hip hop and what you're willing to exchange for it. So that's a later question. But, damn, I forgot my point. What was I just saying? Ebro. Oh, Ebro. So now, I think that that Ebro was, uh, that, that interview was risky. It was. I don't think Ebro had any business asking you those questions. Your response said to me that maybe you were not media trained. Are you media trained? I'm not, it's not that I'm, I'm not media trained, but I learned Do from my mistakes. Do you care? I learned from my mistakes. Mistake. That was definitely a mistake. It's so that was my first mistake, and my second one was that interview when I did the Set the Biggie thing. Do you I'm regret that? I don't regret it, but it was definitely it was, a mistake. It was, yeah. It was a terrible thing. How do you feel like that's impacted your career? Or just the way and, you pull it and your I, you? Well, I feel like it brought me to another level. It, it, it raised conversation in good and bad ways, but all publicity is good publicity. But I do I wish, I, I, but I do wish that I didn't say it. I, I, I can say that. Now, let me add to my point, because I don't want him or people like him to confuse the old people's perspective. When I saw that interview, I wasn't very familiar with you. I still am not so familiar with you. Academics and desk are friendly hit people. They explain it to me. Um, but when I saw it, you came off, and I think you realize these things already, you came off a bit dismissive. Yeah. And people that are passionate about music, so when I watch it, my opinion comes from, well, shit, if he feel like that about this culture, he saved my life, saved his life, saved so many people's lives, and he's just like that arrogant about it, then fuck this nigga. Oh, yeah. You, of course you can understand people feel. What things do you think can, you know, older heads, quote unquote, take from a Yachty's music? Or should they even be looking for it? You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, me honestly, like, I know some of his songs. It's not something that me, a 36 year old man, is just gonna be riding to. Car, you know what I'm saying? To, it, right. it, just, it just ain't for me. You know what I would say to the older cats, man? Because I'm an older cat. I, I, first off, I would say, it's not for you. He calls himself the king of the teens, not the king of the old heads. You dig? I mean, it ain't for you, it's for your kids. It's for your kids, let your kids rock with it. Don't be trying to listen to no Yachty and stop living off these sound bites. You, you listening to sound bites, you don't even know who he is as an individual, you're not trying to hear that, you hearing these sound bites, it's crazy. But the bigger, but, but the bigger you get, I have to understand as a father and as a parent, this comes with it. I mean, they 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 judge you, right? They 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 they, they judge you, and I and I be taking some of that shit. I be taking personal, yo. I be reading that shit, and I be like, <laughs> nigga, did you just say this about my son, nigga? <laughs> right, right. That was Joe Button and Lil Yachty. Just a little piece of the podcast and what's to come. The main thing I want you to concentrate on is. Joe Buttons is not the voice for the old head. I don't know what the classification for old head is. I'm about to be 40, so I think I've pretty much fallen back. He's not a voice for me. Lil Yachty may not be someone I listen to on an everyday, daily basis, but I stay out of his way. He stays out of my way as far as it goes musically and, and being creative and an artist. But why hate? If that's the way that the music is going, it's just my opinion. Let the music go that way. Either you try to change the culture musically or through your own way, but you can't be a bully. And you can't have people just go with what you think is right. Joe Buttons does not speak for all old heads. At all. Thank you. Just make sure you tune in. We have a lot more in store. The Unstructured Podcast. We'll have live guests coming up and the real host TGK Trap God Kurt and Calvin Kane. It's 
stay tuned. The Unstructured Podcast.